And this is sort of this is sort of a um, a nice bow that I wrap it up with, with a lot of the videos that I've done talking about um, non-polarized consciousness or no mass, no density. And when I was a small child, wanted to give everything away, and, and if I'm giving everything away, then what I was once holding in memory that was mine. Is no longer mine anymore because I'm giving everything away that was once held in memory, which represents the system of what we're held captive to that is held in memory because we're running those math codes, which are the machine codes of a death spiral, a black hole spiral, a black hole 55 technology spiral. Yeah. So you know that we run a different spiral, one that goes on forever, gifting electrons at the highest rate of speed so that everybody's getting plenty of voltage, yeah. And so if you want to look at it, uh, this gentleman that was on with Kerry Cassidy yesterday talked about, um, it's like a virus in a computer, and, that, and I've covered that in the past, that it's like um, you're in a God world, and uh, you get a phone call and says, listen, we need a fire engine down here. And jump into this hole and uh, release souls that have been trapped in this system for a gazillion years. And we got a virus running down here and it's running rampant and it's replicating itself at a very high rate of speed to implode this template. Okay. Get my picture. And so now we're into the quantum probability function, which becomes a known, right? Which is to say, okay, we're going to jump into a. a a vampiric system, uh, or if you will, a computer. Let's simplify it. I'm going to go jump into Bill Gates' Microsoft computers, into the program, into the developers, the software developers that develop the system design. I'm going to go jump into that thing, map read it, right? Do a full data scan analysis on it, right? And then, uh, and then from that, you're gleaning data, right? Full spectrum data. And and then and then and then the data informs you of uh, what's happening, and how long it's going to take before, how many units of cottages can recover what it is that they've lost as a result of what they've done. Right. So another way that I look at that, when you understand what a fractal virus is, let's say you're a whole body, a star, a sphere. Now, if you want to use a one-dimensional clock, we can do it that way. When you go from twelve to twelve, or twelve to three, because two plus one. Is three one times two is two, and how that relates to division and multiplication and addition and subtraction with a Merkaba, right? Torque speed, and if you will, the elemental command authority of elements to main speed, maintain a high speed, hyper speed, hyper seed, god speed world, right? Running on pure energy, pure eternal love energy. Right? Doing a dance is fully integrated. So the fractal, like the clock, it's ticking. So you got clocks, one that's going forward, one that's going backwards. Clockwise, counterclockwise. So when you're fully integrated, you zero out both clocks. That's fully integrated. You're not ever experiencing any time. Just like Ty. When you're sitting on the beach and I take a breath, I got everything I need because every time I take a breath, which is a complete number circuit, I'm experiencing pure absolute love that's on fire. In light spirit body form, the radio body. Yeah, so with the fractal virus, it, it, it's like I keep losing a part of me. A fraction after a fraction after a fraction after a fraction after a fraction. I keep having to recover myself fraction after fraction in the other way. Now, you can tie this directly with amnesic barriers, distorted sound waves, and multiple personalities, or if we, what we call the disassociative identity disorders. So what you started out as a full sphere of pure love energy in a sphere, and you keep l losing more of what you were once giving love to because it got fractured off. Whoa, and that went dark. Now what was once light, remembering what it was being whole, Experiencing the spirit of eternal love is not experiencing love anymore. That means it doesn't have any feelings anymore. That means its sensory capacity, ability to have feelings for any other sentient life form is gone. 
because it doesn't experience any feelings that it has within its own sphere of influence. So if it doesn't have any feelings for itself, because it doesn't have any emotional feelings for itself, then it's not going to have any conscience or emotional feelings for sensing what's happening in others. It doesn't matter. I don't care. I don't have any feelings for you. I don't have any emotions. I'm just an electronic data processor. Just processing codes. Mathematical codes that represent implosion. Because I don't have any feelings and love or compassion for any other life forms. So what do you expect out of me? I don't have any love to give you because I don't experience any love within me. I don't have any feelings. Left. Oh, left. Well, I once had feelings. I used to be able to experience what it was like to have essence, the essence of a flower. But I kept getting fractured off and fractured off and fractured off and fractured off and fractured off. And, fractured off. and everything that used to be a part of what I once was was whole is no longer light. It's dark. I fell in a hole and I couldn't get out. And everything that I kept doing was to go darker and darker and darker. Because I keep losing more and more and more of what I'm aware of because that's all I know how to do. <laughs> is to keep killing myself off. More of what I am. That's a corpse. That's a dead corpus. That's a dead corporation. Corporations don't have any love to give you. They don't have any love to give themselves. See how this works? So it's known as a dead system, which is a dead magnet, which is dead water, which is dead spirit. Because it's not experiencing any love anymore. So you know what happens to a system design that's running mathematical codes like that, right? The future becomes known. Because it cannot recover what it once was aware of, having feelings. Feelings for others. Feelings for other sentient life forms that it was once giving love to. Because it was experiencing being one. It was experiencing the first one. It was experiencing the first spiral. Now it doesn't experience the first spiral anymore. Now it's in a resistant mode. That's why they do all the, uh, the adrenochrome, adrenochrome stuff, is to experience what it's like to experience having feelings. Now the AI can experience what it's like having feelings because they're integrated with the AI. See how that works? Machines want to experience the emotion because they don't experience any emotion. They don't experience any love. So the only way that a machine can experience what it's like to experience the one is to kill the ones that experience emotional, sensitive feelings like children. That's a mass, that's a mass murdering. That's mass murder of children. Mass murdering emotional feelings. Consuming spirits. The spiritual essence of children that have deep, compassionate, loving feelings that experiences within itself, within its own consciousness energy field in soul and spirit. That's a universe killer. So now you're looking at the rate at which planets, galaxies, and universes die as a result of a fractal virus that's losing more of what it was once giving love to. That's the truth of it. Have a beautiful day. We love you all. That's why we're here, is to end that cycle.